When you think of martial arts, you think of movies like The Karate Kid or movie stars like Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris. But inside a North St. Louis County warehouse, martial arts means much more. In tonight's Making a Difference report, the story of a weekly class where kids are gaining confidence and focus, all while getting their kicks. Ready, move! They would love to take you out back. Move! Good, good breathing. Ready. That's because this weekly class takes place in the back of a North St. Louis County warehouse. It's a nice big area, uh, plenty of room for all the kids. Strike the pad. There are two things you should know about Thursday nights at Ohana Martial Arts. Move! One, these students are tough. Them kids hit pretty hard. They're stronger than people think they are, yeah. Slap block, punch. And two, every one of them has special needs. Move! Boom. Dan Adolfson comes here with his twins, Andrew and Danielle. They both have cerebral palsy and they're visually impaired. So now if someone's trying to strike me, what do I need to do? Ken Sills has been teaching this class for more than a decade. Ken is all about the kids. Nice. That's Supergirl right there. He has got a heart as big as all outdoors. I like helping people, and, and this is one thing I can do now is teach real easy. Boom, boom, okay? When Sills is a third-degree black belt who didn't take up martial arts until he went to college. Okay. Real easy move. He wasn't allowed to be a karate kid. I think my, my folks thought I'd get hurt. But Sills now believes that everybody can benefit from the techniques they learn in this class. They learn self-control and balance, you know, like they didn't know they could have. Eric Christensen has been coming here for more than three years. They're very nice. His parents say for someone with Down syndrome, it's been like therapy. It's even helped him in school. He became much more attentive and focused. For somebody that is physically disabled, it's even, you have to work 10 times harder. 32 year old Will Jenkins has cerebral palsy. A little faster. That didn't stop him from having a full time job, getting married, and recently, after some intense training with Ken Sills, earning his green belt. Next levels are brown and black belt. Yep. Go. Don't wait. He says he owes a lot to this class because you not only learn self-defense, but you gain self-esteem. So many of these kids have friends that tell them things they can't do. And here they tell them what they can do. It shows them that they can do, basically they can do anything they want. Uh, we do yoga and tai chi and... Folks say Ken Sill's secret weapon isn't his hands or his feet, but his patience. Move! Good, good. Keep your wrist real strong and tight, okay? And he believes what may seem impossible as possibilities. You got it. You got it. I just thank God that we have people like Ken. Eric, awesome job, buddy. Well done. One man helping right. kids and adults who sometimes feel like outsiders find an inner strength they never knew they had. It really warms my heart. The goal at Ohano Martial Arts is to grow the special needs class and to open it to anyone who might be interested. And of course, they have classes all week long for able-bodied students as well. If you'd like more information, we can link you to their website when you go to this story on our website. And as always, if you know of a unique positive story or of an individual making a difference, let me know personally at mbush at ksdk.com.